guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew our drawstring booboo -boo dress so basically this booboo -boo dress you're going to have your drawstring effects between your on their bus and your waistline and i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this so what are the basic measurements required our shoulder measurements bust waist hip and our gown length now there are two ways in which you can achieve your shoulder measurement the first way is to add your shoulder plus your sleeve length and the second way to have your shoulder measurement is to take your measurement directly so what i mean by that is this so basically you can take your measurement from your shoulder to your desired length of your booboo -boo dress so your the length can either be somewhere here or around your ankle it all depends on how long you want your booboo -boo to be so that's the first method the second method is to add your shoulder measurements plus your sleeve so if your shoulder measurement is 14 divided by two you have seven plus your sleeve length which is 10 inches you are going to have the same right or basically just take your measurement directly to your desired length so for me now i have 24 inches now for our bust measurements we have 50 our waist measurements we have 48 and our hip we have 52 don't forget to join us on facebook td designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements so our bust measurement is 50 50 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 14.5 inches our waist measurement is 48 48 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 14 inches our hip is 53 53 52 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 15 inches our gown length is 43 so we are going to add 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 45 inches our shoulder measurement is 24 inches i've explained how we came across 24 inches so the next thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and add to your shoulder measurement so we have 24 i'm going to add three inches i have 27 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your drawstring booboo -boo dress if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on trainings are available both online training and physical training and all the details are going to be in the description box below now i'm I'm going to make use of African prints to achieve this style and note that you can make use of any fabric of your choice cotton fabric crepe lacquer it all depends on how you want to style this now the amount of fabric totally depends on the client you are working with and also the size measurement of the person you are dealing with so for me now I'm going to be working with four yards of African prints for this style because looking at my measurements you discover that this is a plus size measurement so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys now we want to cut out our booboo -boo dress with drawstring so this form of booboo -boo dress we are going to have our drawstring effect at the front so the first thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and fold your fabric into four you can see what it looks like booboo -boo dress are actually very easy to achieve and it fits like everyone so the next thing you are going to do now is we also gone ahead to fold our fabric, making use of our length. Next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and mark your neckline. So for the wideness of the neckline, I'm going to make use of three and a half inches. While for the depth, I am going to make use of five inches. So once I'm done, I will go ahead now and connect it to give me my round shape effect as you can see. Now what we are going to do now is to basically go ahead and cut out this. So once you cut out your neckline, this is what it automatically looks like. So by the time you open this up, your booboo -boo dress is ready. And one thing about booboo -boo is that we are going to stitch it on the front. And then when we get to the sewing part, I will show you guys how to achieve your drawstring on the front block. So what we are going to do now is to go ahead now and M our neckline. You can either M it with your bias or with your facing. It all depends on what you want to achieve. So let's go ahead now and end this 
So before stitching it now, we have our shoulder measurements. You are going to make use of your shoulder measurement to fold your fabric. And don't forget that our shoulder measurements is basically your shoulder plus your sleeve and it all depends on where you want your booboo -boo dress to get up to so go ahead and use your shoulder measurements and fold it all the way booboo -boo dress don't have any design and you're basically going to stitch it on the front block so we've gone ahead now to use our shoulder measurements to fold this and then we've cut out our neckline we'll go ahead now and just aim it so guys now we've gone ahead to M our neckline you can see with M our neckline with bias so you can actually use bias or you use facing it all depends on how you want to M your neckline so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch your shoulders together I've done that so it is actually very very easy so after hemming your neckline and then you've coupled your shoulders together the next thing you are going to do now is to mark your basic measurement so one thing you should take note of when it comes to booboo -boo is the fact that you are sewing on the front block right like you are sewing directly on the front compared to other styles where you sew at the back so now this is what we have so you are going to just go ahead now and mark you know your shoulder to bust shoulder to arm o i'm going to use 10 inches shoulder to arm o i'm going to use 10 inches now bust to waist i have nine inches bust to waist i have nine inches waist to hip i have nine inches so i have a detailed video on size charts i'm going to go ahead and link it somewhere on the screen so that you can watch that so once you are done now you know just this line just enables you to know where to place your waist measurements where to place your hip measurements and also where to place your bust measurements so the next thing you are going to do now like i said when it comes to booboo -boo, you are going to mark directly on the front piece right so this is my center front this is my center front right so this which means like the middle part of your fabric so for me because i folded my fabric into two i have like an invisible line here that indicates the midpoint of my fabric so because it's necessary for you to know where the midpoint of your fabric is so this is basically like my midpoint now so this is the middle point of my fabric right so this will just enable you to know you know where to start your measurement from so my bust measurement is 50 50 divided by 2 we have 25 inches so that 25 inches now we are going to mark it on the front block so 25 is 12.5 inches i'm going to place it at this midpoint and mark 12.5 now i'm also going to add about one inch to my boo boo because i just want to add like an extra you know ease to my booboo -boo dress so i have 12.5 i'm going to mark 13.5 now my waist is for is 48 48 divided by 2 i have 24 so 24 now half of 24 i'm going to have 12 inches so i'm going to add one inch also just for ease i'm going to have 13 inches so my hip measurement now is 52 52 divided by divided by two and also you also divide it into two so i'm going to have 14 and a half inches right so this is what i have now so i'm basically going to connect my hip to my waist and i'll connect my waist to my bust this way so let me just mark it so that you guys can see it now one thing also about booboo -boo dress is the fact that you are not going to stitch all the way down because once you stitch all the way down trust me the person is not going to find it easy to work so i'm just going to stop somewhere around around the hip area i'm going to stop stitching around this point so this is what we have now so you're also going to go ahead now and mark the other side of the booboo -boo dress so basically don't forget that we started from this midpoint now right so from this midpoint i'll be marked 13 and a half inches so you also place your tape measure from this midpoint from this midpoint also and then you mark your 13 inches so by the time you are done your full front this way 13 
and half on this part 13 and half on this part should give you your bust measurement right so let's say your bust measurement is 50 50 divided by it so you have 25 so you should have 25 inches on this part so i added one inch for my you know ease so on the waistline also i have 13 inches i'm also going to mark 13 inches on this side of my fabric but let me know if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so on my hip line also i'm going to have 14 and a half inches so once i'm done i'll connect the lines together you can see that it is very easy to achieve so basically what you are going to do now for your booboo -boo dress is that you are going to sew on the front you discover that i marked my measurements on the front of the fabric not the back so this is the front of my fabric and then i went ahead to mark my measurements on the front so basically i'm just going to go ahead now and stitch this line on this side and also stitch this line on this side just the way it is now the next thing you are going to do after stitching it is to go ahead now and aim the sides right where you're going to have your bubble effect so you can see that i've gone ahead now to aim it so you're going to aim both sides and you also go ahead and aim the lower side of your bubble dress so once i'm done stitching this now i'll show you guys the final look of so guys you know now we want to attach our drawstring to it we want to attach our drawstring to it so basically what you are going to do in order for you to get your drawstring now is to take your tape measure and measure where you have you know this is our shoulder measurement this is your shoulder measurement your shoulder measurement you measure it up to your underbone so i'm making use of 16 inches now so on this 16 inches you are going to go ahead and just fix in your elastic so you can see how this grips right you can see how this grips. so let me flip it to the back and just show you guys what i did so guys can you guys see so on this under bust now you just basically go ahead and stitch your tiny elastic so as you are sewing your elastic you are pulling it you know so that it can grip this waist area properly so let me go ahead now and flip this to the front so guys you also discovered that you know when fixing the elastic i did not start from this edge the first thing we went ahead to do is to couple this up you know you've gone ahead to stitch your bust measurements your waist measurement so your elastic will start on your waistline where you stitched already let me zoom it in your elastic will start here on your waistline where you've stitched already you know you're going to stitch your elastic to the other edge where your waist measurement ends so it doesn't you know you're not fixing this elastic outside your measurement so this is what it looks like and once you are done you just go ahead now and aim the lower part and this is what our drawstring booboo looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one